the university was really beautiful and the town was a really nice town with really friendly people. People just stop on the street, ask you if you're alright and give you directions. I think that, that's one of the key things which helped as us as an international coming from so far away from, from our own country is that, that sense people making you feel comfortable here, people making you feel homely here. I think that, that's a really key thing the Sheffield offers people. I kept on being surprised every day with really interesting discoveries about the city, the people and the university. Basically you get everything that you get in a major city but the small town feel to it. So it's really nice, you, you get all the big things and you get the small things as well. In comparison to London and other places, yes, very cheap. It's quite cheap living in Sheffield compared to those international big cities. It's the greener city in UK, so that's really something that a lot of people are quite attracted to. Coming from Dubai before I came here, Dubai was a desert and I thought I really want to switch from desert to somewhere a bit more green. It's enchanting to watch greenery all around the place. Sometimes I would just take the bus and go to the Peak District and have a walk around the areas and it's very refreshing I think. Peak District is probably one of the nicest places to go in the UK. It's absolutely beautiful. Ten minute walk and you're, you're in, the, in the heart of the peaks. It's green and it's, 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 it's a nice place to calm yourself down after a long day of work. I couldn't tolerate living in London, it was too crowded, too busy. And I found Sheffield, uh, a peaceful and quiet city. London seems to be so packed with people, but in Sheffield, you know, there's so much space and there's so much... Everyone seems to be more relaxed in Sheffield. Well, Sheffield is rated as one of the safest cities in the UK. They say it's a safe city, but it really is a safe city to live in. I certainly feel a lot safer walking back in Sheffield than I do in other big cities. It seems like it's, it's a, a very good place to be because you can catch a train to Manchester where you can fly out to um, places within the UK as well as within the rest of Europe. There's a lot of nice cities around the area you can go visit. The Manchester, York, Liverpool, even London isn't that far away, for example, by train. The transport system here is very good. We have coaches, we have, you know, trains that can take us to anywhere we want to go. You can get north to Edinburgh and to Scotland within three hours and over to Manchester and Manchester Airport and out of the country within about an hour and a half. So it's very centrally located, very convenient for both domestic and international travel. Good bus services, good train services, and you can walk almost anywhere in Sheffield you need to get to, so it's a very convenient city in that way. The museums uh, in Sheffield are really good. The mu museum at Western Park. And those uh, Millennium Galleries. I like the cathedral. It's really amazing and beautiful inside. For the sports lovers, there's actually uh, the Sheffield uh, United and the Sheffield Wednesday stadiums. Recently, City Hall's just been um, renovated, so it's really fantastic out there. They've got two really nice fountains. It's quite a nice place to just sort of go, maybe grab some lunch. There's botanical gardens, which is nice if you just like to relax in a green space. I'd definitely say the Winter Gardens. They've sort of built this big garden inside and it's got a wishing well and everything. And then you walk out and you've got the Peace Gardens as well. Um, the Peace Gardens, I really like the Peace Gardens. I go there almost every Sunday. The Sheffield Peace Gardens, where there's a really good, uh, magnificent fountain. There's fountains everywhere. It's just really nice to go. They've got grass so you can sit around. I'm also a big fan of the theatres in Sheffield, the Crucible and the Lyceum, which put on some really fantastic things. If you just walk around the city centre, you always find something to suit your, uh, your taste. 